trucks getting loaded at the Dangote fertilizer plant in Lagos signals the beginning of operations in the $2 billion fertilizer plant. About 120 trucks are expected to convey over 4,000 tons of products daily from the plant, said to be the second largest in the world. This is good news according to the group's executive director, strategy, capital project and portfolio development, Dev Kuma Edwin. In fact, we started with textiles, moved to food industries, went to into cement, and now we are coming to oil and gas. It's a major project we have successfully completed in the oil and gas sector. And it's a large project. As you know, it's the second largest plant in the world. So that is uh, success for the group. While 20 kilograms per hectare consumption of fertilizer in the country is very low compared to international standard of 150 kilograms, the Abuja Convention proposed an increase to 50 kilograms per hectare for African countries. This will require more product consumption, which Dangote Fertilizer appears ready to provide. So there is a good potential for Nigeria to consume the fertilizer and increase the yield and the quality of the produce, agricultural produce. So once we are able to provide the fertilizer to the agriculture community, the yield in the Nigeria will exponentially increase. Beyond fertilizer production, the management says the 3 million tons fertilizer production plant also focuses on supporting the farmers to bring about employment and food security. The farmer needs to know how much to apply, when to apply, and also, as Mr. Mathur was explaining, the yes, soil mapping of the country is very, very important. So we can dose the fertilizer also with micronutrients to make up for the uh, soil deficiencies. At the moment, a 50 kg bag of fertilizer is risen to about 9,000 naira. This has impacted cost of production for farmers who look forward to noticeable changes with the coming on board of Dangote fertilizer into the agriculture space.